Hi, my name is Gareth Spence. I'm currently in the US headquarters of Adver Optical Networking to talk about a demo that's currently taking place behind me. This is somewhat of a first for the company. I'm joined now by Soren Tibilak, one of the company's and indeed the industry's leading voices on optical transport. Soren, thanks for joining me today. Thank you. Could you talk a little bit more about this demo and explain why it's causing such excitement in the Atlanta campus? Yes, this is a demonstration of 100 gigabit transmission over 2,500 kilometers of old uh, legacy fiber types, in fact, a mix of fiber types. And this is showcasing our uh, long haul system, which can operate with up to 96 uh, channels at 100 gigabits per second each. Okay, that's a lot of capacity and reach, 96 channels, 100G over 2,500 kilometers, so 9.6 terabytes. Can you talk a little bit about how you're, how you're doing this? Yes, the key here is the uh, transponder which uh, operates with a single carrier uh, dual polarization phase shift, uh, quadrature phase shift keying modulation format. Uh, and this has coherent detection, uh, industry leading digital signal processing, control loops, and also a soft decision forward error correction. Okay, so there are lots of different components there, different building blocks. Could we focus on each one to get a better understanding of exactly what's happening? Perhaps start with the, the 100G long haul technology. Yes, what differentiates ADVA from uh, many competitors is the fact that we have uh, optimized uh, solutions for uh, both metro and long haul uh, transmission. For the metro case, uh, we have a uh, solution that is optimized for lower cost, lower footprint, uh, lower power consumption, and lower latency. Uh, the long haul is achieved using, uh, as I said, the coherent detection uh, transmission, and this optimizes the capacity, the reach, uh, and the performance. Okay, good. Now, you've talked about 100G. Is this a demo that is dynamically configured? Yes, absolutely. This uh, takes advantage of our uh, latest uh, Rotom uh, cards and Rotom technology. And these are flexible grid uh, Rotoms, uh, uh, which uh, can operate uh, with a colorless, directionless, and contentionless uh, uh, features. Uh, what this really means is that you can take a wavelength into any direction on any color, color and you can actually uh, add drop multiple um, wavelengths of the same color, and that's the contentionless capability. Uh, so our rotoms have been uh, designed to specifically take advantage of uh, coherent detection in the sense that for uh, contentionless uh, add drop, we no longer need uh, optical filters or optical mux demuxes. Okay. Now, earlier on, you mentioned that this is a, a demo taking place across four different fiber types. Usually, these demos take place on the latest and greatest to make the demo look as good as it can be, but you're actually trying to simulate what it's like in a, in a real network with different fibers and different ages. Yes, absolutely. We often see demonstrations of uh, long-haul transmission performance using uh, very new uh, fiber types. Uh, what we have done uh, is actually a demonstration of 2,500 kilometers over older fiber types that are very common in carrier networks. Uh, these uh, include the uh, older standard single mode fiber, uh, true wave classic, true wave reach fiber, and also uh, leaf uh, fiber. Uh, and these are more uh, challenging for long haul transmission uh, due to the higher nonlinear effects. Uh, yet we demonstrated 2,500 kilometers with a very good uh, operating margin. Okay, now 2,500 kilometers is a long distance. It's, it's uh, you know, going quite far. Is there any amplification involved here? Yes, absolutely. We have uh, uh, amplifiers which use hybrid Raman, distributed Raman, and uh, EDFA technology, uh, optimized uh, gain and uh, power levels. Uh, furthermore, uh, these uh, amplifiers are optimized to deliver high OSNR uh, and the low nonlinear effects. Uh, the high OSNR, among other things, uh, is achieved by designing these amplifiers without mid stage access. So they are the uh, they are designed specifically for coherent uh, transmission. Okay, and what does this mean for the customer's network? Yeah, what this means for the customer network is that they can uh, 
deploy the system, achieve the, uh, the best uh, possible performance and capacity, and they can also uh, grow the system in the future to 400 gigabits and 1 terabits channels for even, uh, even higher uh, capacities. And they have the uh, flexibility that's offered by the, uh, all the rotom configurations that are uh, possible uh, with this system. Uh, and uh, by the uh, software uh, tools that we offer to control and manage all this traffic. Okay. Uh, we've talked a lot about hardware and we've shown some cutaways of uh, the technology in action. Now I'd like to focus uh, on a GUI and, and show some of the numbers here that really reflects the importance of the demo. Could you tell us what we're seeing on the screen at this moment? Yes, we have a, a bit array test set that we have connected to the client side of our transponders that are running over uh, 2,500 kilometers. So we can look at the screen uh, on this GUI and see the error-free transmission. We've had it operating over the weekend, so it's almost three days. Uh, and as you can see here, uh, all lights are green and it's been operating error-free over this time frame. Now, if we switch the GUI to uh, the latency measurement, um, you will see the latency number displayed here. And what this is indicating is really the distance uh, that we're operating of 2,500 kilometers. One can easily calculate the uh, fiber distance based on this latency number, knowing the uh, transmission velocity uh, of light over uh, typical uh, single mode fiber. OK. These are fantastic figures to see. Sorry, and thank you so much for your time today. We appreciate it. You're welcome. If you'd like to know more about Advert Optical Networking's 100G Long Haul Solution or its Agile Core Express, you can talk directly to Soren. You just need to email us at info at advertoptical.com or visit www.adveroptical.com. <laughs>